Hey, what's up? My name is Flocka, and today I'm going to show you how to build this incredible tomato head aircraft. It's got spinning propellers. It turns on no thruster power, so that's two extra channels. We've got activated balloons and the ability to go up with thrusters and those forward thrusters. So lots of functionality on this new aircraft using the new swivel technology. I'm going to run you through all of it. So subscribe to the channel because we're posting a ton of new Lost Isles content. And let's get right into the video. To give you a closer look at this aircraft, I'm going to go up to the one that I've already got constructed. And you see we've got a controllable swivel sitting on top of a large dynamic platform. And then there's another large dynamic platform sitting on top of the swivel. And then the aircraft itself is attached to that top platform. So then when we activate the swivel, we are able to turn without using thrusters. This frees up multiple channels. And for all my Lego Fortnite mechanics, you know you're about to go crazy with that. And if you need help completing the quest to unlock all of these pieces, go check out Crafty's video filled with tips and tricks to help you complete every quest. I'll have that video linked in the description. Now without further ado, let's start crafting ourselves the Tomato Head Aircraft. So to start this off, we're going to throw down a wood foundation and then I want to snap a car jack to the middle and I want to snap car jacks to the corners as well. This is because the foundation doesn't really register on the car jack and we want to make sure that it stays upright while we're constructing the vehicle. So we're starting off with the large dynamic foundation. We're going into the new controllable swivel, which is going to allow us to turn this vehicle without a single thruster. So we're going to snap that to the middle. Then you're gonna wanna grab another large dynamic foundation. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's snapped right on top of the swivel. And it is as simple as that. Like, I'm so serious. You could throw balloons and a thruster on this thing and go fly around right away. Like, check this out. This vehicle is slightly hovering across the beach, which is perfect to demonstrate how simple it is to create one of these. Go ahead and take this and do whatever you want with it. But you're able to steer in any which direction you want to on a dime this is going to create some really cool hover vehicles i'm super excited so let's keep on building identifying the front and back of our vehicle we are going to grab the zesty counter corner and you're gonna want to move that so that it's hanging over just over that little blue piece that you see inside of the foundation i'm identifying this as my front I'm gonna grab a frost pine floor. The 12 by two will do perfectly. I'm gonna find the middle of this dynamic foundation and I'm going to snap one of these in place with an eight by two frost pine floor snapped right behind it like this. A four by four frost pine floor right in the front like this, nudged one stud over the edge on each side. You can actually sneak a small thruster onto the corner that hangs over. And we're going to grab the zesty fern planter or any nose piece, to be honest. And we're going to put that right on the tip. Immediately behind it, we're going to go in and find the zesty effigy, basically the tomato head statue. And I'm going to place it so it's right over the end of this fern. On the back side, I'm taking that zesty half wall, two by four by six, or whatever granite wall you might want to use. And I'm pointing my cursor at the bottom of the top dynamic foundation. So not underneath, but right at the bottom here so that the bottoms are flush. And we're going over as far as we can, placing one, snapping to that one, and then moving over as far as we can and placing the other one. This piece can also be replaced by these half walls. So by stacking them like this, you'll get the same exact shape as that. On this model, we won't be having these large pillars just on top of the table. Feel free to mix it up and make your own version. So our next step is to either get the red rock or granite walls on the sides. So I'm snapping three of them on this side and three of them on this side, those are the two by four by six. You could also go ahead and just use one two by 12. Find your zesty dinner table 
and you're actually gonna want the large one and this is where we're gonna have to point our cursor at the side of the counter a little bit and we're gonna be nudging it up so that it's two studs on each side over the edge it shouldn't let us go any further to each side and we're gonna place one of these on every single corner let's go ahead and throw down those controllable swivels and once you do your jacks are gonna break but it's no big deal because we've done everything that we need to do. We'll now be able to run underneath and add any pieces that we need to add, so this is perfect. And if you put a foundation down, you might even get a little bit of extra height in order to run underneath. Go ahead and throw whatever four x four floor that you want to use, I prefer, but I recommend using some sort of wood. I'm actually gonna go with the frost pine floor, and then I'm taking six by twos, and we're snapping them to the middle of all four sides of those floors that we just placed on the swivels. We're still hashing out a way to get blades separated on these swivels, but if you're using thrusters to turn, you probably can put propellers on this. These blades are looking a little dull, so I kinda wanna add something to them. So we're gonna grab the flaming tomato sconce, and on every other side, we're going to place one on the ends of the blade. Now when we get into our driver's seat and we use the shift button, you see that the aircraft starts moving and we've got blades moving as well. But yeah, the ability to put the swivels on a channel and having maybe a fifth channel would be really cool. Now for this next part, go ahead and throw whatever wood floor you want. I'm just gonna take some rustic six by twos and on top of those corner counters, we're gonna place two like this, one there, one there, same thing on this side. Feel free to do whatever you want on the inside. You're gonna have plenty of surface area for these balloons, but for sure we're gonna place four small balloons that aren't activated on the inside corners of those counter pieces right here. Go ahead and then take whatever wood floor you're using. I'm just going to take some 12 by two wood floors and I'm gonna stack them overlap till I get to my desired center. Then I'm just gonna throw down a small driver's seat where I want it. Then we can sneak in some activated balloons. So let's go two there. And two here as well as two here on the corners. And then we're also gonna need one on these front corners like this. So if you make it exactly like I'm making it, these are the balloon spots I'm gonna go with initially. And we're gonna test this out real quick. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty good, pretty decent. Let's test how high we get. Although it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be putting thrusters underneath these table spots and that is going to propel us upwards. I might go ahead and try to adjust two of these balloons, one stud, see if we can even out perfectly here. Okay, so I moved those back one stud closer to these back balloons. I was a little worried that they would destroy it, but we seem good. Let's go ahead and prove that we can get these to spin here. And we're turning in the air. So now we're gonna drop the balloons. This is exciting, guys. I'm going to add one thruster right here. On both sides, you're gonna wanna take the zesty half pillar. But remember, if you don't have that pillar, you can use any granite half wall here um, and just stack them up like this. And it'll be the same height. So I'm taking my zesty half pillar and I'm pointing my cursor at the bottom of the top dynamic foundation so not underneath it but at the bottom as far as i can go down and there's literally only one spot that it's gonna let you place this and on the back you can point it at one of the walls you have already placed and you're gonna move it over as close to that counter corner as you can go ahead and just snap to that pillar and nudge it over to the side i'm gonna take a wood piece an eight by two and just over the edge here, I'm gonna place it like in between. And this is gonna allow me to get onto the aircraft easily. We're also going to throw some thrusters right here in the center of our walls. 
Feel free to add as many as you want that are gonna take you forward. These are all going to be channel three automatically. Feel free to leave them. We want to take that large thruster and we want to go underneath the tables and you're gonna want to try to find the very middle of the table so it should be lined up with the center of this gold leg on each side make sure you turn all of these thrusters off of channel three i'm going to put them onto channel two we still got to add some storage on this thing so let's go ahead and throw a small thruster on the sides like that, go grab your grand chest, point it at the end of the thruster so that the chest turns on its side like this, but feel free to look at it first, then go into your blueprints, grab your chest, and then it'll automatically be sideways. Make sure you get rid of those thrusters that are sitting on the side. And now we should be ready to fly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in the seat and we're gonna lift off or actually first i want to show you that the thrusters that propel us upwards will work so we're going to go channel two here and we have some lift off not a whole lot as we only have four balloons giving us lift so i've activated the balloons and we're kind of at a nice hover height here we're able to turn in both directions without using a single channel. We can rise up with a separate channel as well as deactivate some activated balloons and we can fly forward. So that's five different points of functionality with one actually freed up unused on this aircraft. As always, if you wanna go even higher and you want some more lift, not to worry, all you're gonna need to do is add one more activated balloon, the large ones instead, and we're gonna put them in between the chests on those sidewalls. And that way, when we do lift off, we'll go much higher this time Activating our thrusters to go up a couple of times. You can see that we're actually gaining a lot of elevation here and we're going to be able to reach the highest peaks of the map in LEGO Fortnite. So kind of a W. It does take a little bit to get used to the new steering controls. Um, but once you do, once you have it down, oh man, is this fun. I'm able to change freely between elevations as I want. I can even deactivate the balloons and using the upwards thrust, we can kind of just hover here. And there's just so many different types of flight that you can have while you're using this aircraft. So now there is one downside. You'll notice that I don't have my sound on. This vehicle, the swivels are extremely loud. You're gonna wanna turn down those sound effects a little bit. Hopefully Epic does something about that noise. The same as the seat glitch. These are all issues with the new toys that we really need to see resolved. Otherwise, the fun on them is going to be limited just because of how buggy it actually is. And to show you what I mean, last night we actually played Battleship live on stream while it was an extreme amount of fun and I'm super excited to run these Battleship events. The seat glitches, guys, were absolutely crazy. Every time you make contact with a cannonball, it was a seat glitch. Every time you spun around too fast, it was a seat glitch. And I think by now we're just so tired of seeing our character fly below the map or 50 feet beyond our vehicle. We just wanna enjoy our creations as they're meant to be enjoyed. Today's creation is the zero thruster turning tomato head aircraft. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this aircraft and where it stacks up on the list of every aircraft we've ever made on the tutorial series. And if you haven't seen some of those videos, consider clicking on this playlist. Take it easy, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.